let's take a look at how I would remove the background noise and make this sound better. Now I will say this was a very tough clip because we had that bad noise from the background from the freeway that really is all frequencies. It's high frequencies, low frequencies, mid frequencies. And what that means is that the same frequencies as my voice are happening in the background and creating this background noise. And if I remove those, I remove my voice as well. So it's a bit tricky, but let me show you what I did. First, let me just sh show you what it sounds like after. Hey, this is Phil in my backyard and before. Hey, this is Phil in my backyard. And I used the EQ tool and that's all I needed to make this sound better. And one word of advice is to use headphones while you're editing. So let me just play through this. I'm gonna delete this EQ and start from scratch. And in this practice lesson, so one tip is to find a spot where you just see the background noise. So let's go here. I got this clip on my timeline. I can see right here, I'm not talking. So I'm actually going to put an in point here. But and then go right before I start talking and put an out point. Then I'm going to turn on loop play. This is something we haven't seen and it's right here. If you don't see this loop play button, click this little plus button and then just click and drag the loop option button down here into this toolbar. And you see there's lots of other tools here that you can play around with. Make sure that's highlighted. And now if you click play, it loops through this clip just where I have the in and out points. My face looks ridiculous, but that's okay. I'm gonna deal with that while I add the EQ effect to this clip. So search for EQ and add it. Then click under custom setup, edit. Okay, I'm gonna block my face because that is just annoying. So what we wanna do is actually use the EQ tool to figure out where the noise is coming from. Right now we're just listening to the background noise. So if I click on mid two, and then I basically drag this up, what I can hear, if I sweep to the left or to the right, I can kind of hear where it's loudest, where the most of the frequencies are. Down here on the left, there's not that many. Over here on the right, there's not that many either. But as I get in this range, 1,000 to 2,000, 3,000, that seems to be the hot spot of where the big noise is. And so by knowing that, I can then just take this point and drop it down all the way. And that sounds a lot better. It's cutting out a lot of that background noise. Then if I uncheck loop play and play through this, of this video. I can just smooth this out mic. by extending the curve like so, so that it doesn't well, sound as robotic. Shotgun microphone plugged into my Canon 7 I can turn this on and off to hear what it sounds like by checking the toggle me, on and off uh, button there, here. Uh, probably about a mile away, there's a freeway, but I can hear. So one thing we want to do is use this output slider to increase the output here, and you can probably hear. So we don't lose any of the actual volume. Even though we're getting rid of some sounds, we want to make sure that my voice is still the same level. Here in the audio too. The other thing I'm going to do is check the low and the high buttons and make the, it a cut. Then I'm going to change the low from 50 hertz to 200 and the high from 10,000 to, I'm going to go a little bit further than normal to 4,500. Just sitting in my backyard, I actually built this pergola. So that's cutting all the frequencies above 4,500 and below 200. So if I exit out yeah, of here, this weekend, that's one of my hobbies that I've been doing lately. So take this audio, try to and turn on the and off the EQ effect. You can kind of hear back and forth what it sounds like. And while it's not perfect, and it's just because the situation wasn't perfect, it is better. So hopefully you were able to get something similar to that with your own practice. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you have any other ways that you were actually able to make this video even better, please let me know. I would be happy to see what different effects or different settings you use yourself.